You guys, how's it going? Another video. It's like three days in a row now. It's crazy, but um, I got a little tip for y'all. Now, for those of you who don't know, Elgato's HD 60s are not cheap in the slightest. Okay, they are expensive. They're $150, I think they are. Somewhere, I don't know, I haven't checked in a while. Because I give up, I know I'm not gonna get one. So, what I uh, what I found out, uh, I know there might be another video, but I haven't seen them yet. But basically, uh, you know, if they found it first, just give them credit. I mean, I found this a long time ago, but I never went ahead and made a video on it. But it's it's the easiest way that I can uh, I can tell you guys. It's uh, how you can actually record your PS4. In 720p, 60 frames per second. It can't go up to 1080 like an Elgato could, but it can do 60 FPS at 720, which is really good. Now, the only way that you can actually get it to do it is you have to live stream it. Now, with the most recent PS4 update, your like recording software or whatever, it can actually do 720p up to 60 frames per second. So, here's the tips. When you go to head and make a like a stream to start going make sure your quality is set all the way up and stream it on youtube if you do it on twitch it will not work as well youtube is the much better option okay i promise please do do that it, it'll save you time it'll save you a lot of effort and it actually looks better off of youtube but basically what you want to do is when you stream it youtube the reason it's better is because it automatically uploads now once it's uploaded to youtube well, okay, before you do that, actually, you want to make sure that you set the, um, the name of your, of your stream to something random that no one's going to search. So I like to just do a bunch of numbers, um, like, I don't know, sometimes I'll, I'll put, like, 1952828993739, I don't know, just a random or just something random word, like, you could put a banana, so that no one comes over and just randomly will, um, you know, find your stream that you don't want in there. Because if you find stream, then you can have that little, like, box on your screen show up. And then it can ruin the recording. Now, the way that I like to do this is I'll go ahead. I'll set up my stream. And I need to use a... I'll have the link in the description. I use this website where you can download videos off of YouTube for... It's not too quick because of how, how, of how high quality they are. But it lets you download it. 720p to 60 frames per second. Now, once you put it in a software, you can actually get it to go up to 1080p. Um, you know, that's it's kind of hard. It doesn't look full 1080, but it definitely looks better than the um, 720 does. But I don't know. This is just a quick help tip, tip helpful tip to show everyone that uh, doesn't have a Elgato like myself. You know, people want Elgatos, but they're expensive. So this is the cheap alternative. All you need is a PS4, which a lot of people already have. Now, Xbox, I don't own one. I don't like Xbox. I don't use Xbox. I have no clue if this works on Xbox. If it does, great. If it doesn't, too bad. But this is for PS4, 720p, 6 frames per second. Just make sure you stream it on YouTube. You can go in and download it. Now, uh, the reason that we use a random title is so that no one, like I said, comes in and that little black box appears. And it can ruin it because, say, something happens in the middle of your recording that you want to put in your next video. Um... You know, it's it's pretty difficult to like get around that. So I'm actually gonna show you guys exactly how you can download stuff off this website and uh, not give you an example, but I will show you how to do it. I promise you this works. It's free. You know, it's it is the easiest way to do it. Okay, guys. So now I'm I'm back. I'm recording this on my phone because you can't actually record your menu on your PS4 unless you are using an Elgato, which honestly I don't really care, but just to show you how to set up your streams for it, just click your share button in your controller, go ahead, go to broadcast your gameplay, make sure you set it on YouTube, and then once you're on YouTube, let it load, come up to where it says quality, make sure the quality is set all the way, oops, 
Make sure your quality is set all the way up to the highest it allows, which is 720p 60fps. And for your title, like I was saying, oh, I was streaming zombies obviously last. Um, but like I was saying, you know, just go ahead, delete this, and set it to a bunch of numbers. No one's gonna end up searching. So I use a keyboard just because it's easier and, and stuff like that. So just put it to a bunch of numbers. No one's gonna search this. No one's gonna really care and find this. Um, it's just the easiest way. And then you can start your broadcast. Now I'm not gonna do it because I don't need to. But this is just how you're gonna set it up on your PS4 and just start your broadcast after that's done. All right, so once you have um, downloaded or started your stream on your PS4 and you're done recording it, you know, you think your video is done, the first thing you can actually do is go onto your YouTube account and make your video private. I'm not going to show you how to do that. All you have to go to do is go into your video manager on your laptop or computer, whatever you use, and go ahead and just say set video public, private, and there's like unlisted. I don't exactly remember all the options, but just set it to anything but public so that no one else views it because obviously no one's going to want to view a live stream that isn't actually a live stream. Now, after you're done with that, um, you know, grab the link of a video. So I'm just going to go to YouTube real quick. And my keyboard likes to lag on me so it doesn't type. So um, we're just going to go on YouTube and we're going to search, I don't know, just any random video you can think of. So I'm going to do. Guy meows at cat because you know why not? And I also can't type. You know that's that's great. Uh, wait, wait wait not at cat at hold on at egg. Okay, there's ten hour versions of it. <laughs> this I mean this is such a dumb video to be honest. I mean you can watch it right now if you want to. Meow. <laughs> But anyway, the only thing you need to do is just go ahead and copy this link. Once the link is copied, what you want to go ahead and do, you can close that tab if you want. Search up YouTube in mp4.com. Like I said, the link will be in the description if you are too lazy to type it out. Once you've typed it out, it's going to take you to this website. Now just enter your YouTube link there. Boom. And just download it. I'm just going to say download. You can download it in MP4. I think this is like 360 or 480p. It looks terrible. Make sure you select download MP4 HD. Uh, whatever settings your... Now it's going to pull up an ad. Just close it. Whatever settings your video was. So say it was like it could be 60 FPS. It will download it in 60 FPS. If it's... I mean this is just the highest quality the video was uploaded and rendered in. So once you click download in MP4 HD... You'll see it just it will go ahead and download. Now let me open it up. Just show you it's it's the real thing. It's the full video in 720 oh 1080p I think it is. Come on. Man, loading time suck. Meow. So there you guys go. Just you can see the video. Um. I am getting a little bit of lag because I'm recording my screen, but that's what happens. So now you can just close out of that, and that's how you can download it. Now just put your videos, or your live stream, I guess you could say, into a um, editing software, like here I have After Effects and Sony Vegas, and go from there. Now the best thing is it does not require remote play. A lot of videos now are saying, you gotta use remote play. No, not anymore. This is the better alternative because you don't need to... Render your stream or render your game. Oh my goodness! You don't have to stream your game over to your computer and record it at the same time. A lot of computers can't handle that. That people have. I mean, if you do have that strong of a computer and that internet, you probably should be able to afford an Elgato. I don't know, but this is just the best way I've ever found to do it and uh, the easiest. So, like I said, just put it into a um, an editing software and you should be done. So if you guys did like this video, make sure you subscribe, like, and uh, comment, and uh, tell me if you want me to make uh, more videos like this, because honestly, they're not very hard to make, so um, I hope you enjoyed, I hope this helps you guys, and I'll see you later.